Good afternoon, seekers of the nomadness life. <laughs> I'm going to wait for some people to join. Then I'm going to show you the new look. Not my new look. My look's old. Ooh, one thumbs up. That's kind of weird because nobody's around. <laughs> this says zero people, one thumbs up. Oh, one person's in the house. They thumbs up before they came in. Now that's what I'm talking about. Five people in the house. Six. Yo-yos. Sherry. Laurel. Gotta say hi to my peeps. So I'm waiting for some people to join us and then I'm gonna reveal the new Ottoman. Hi, Farm All Fanatic. I'm gonna wait for a few people and then I'll reveal what's going on. Chris, how are you? Gorgeous day in Florida, isn't it? Thinking about the pool. I'm thinking about it. Hi, Deb. But then I'm afraid if I go to the pool today that Yorkie Mom's working and then tomorrow she has off that I won't want to go to the pool tomorrow. So I might just hold off tomorrow until she's, you know, off work. Ten people in the house. All right, you guys, you ready to see the ottoman that Yorkie Mom made me? Oh, I know it's beautiful out. Okay, are we ready? How many? How many of you? It's so beautiful. You have no idea. It's so beautiful. <laughs> I'm looking at Mr. Tiggs. He's watching Animal Planet. He's so cute. Okay, so. Ah, shh. All right, then we got to plug in because my battery's dying. Okay, it's always the case. Here we go. One, two. Look at it. Is it starting to look coastal in here? Look at how beautiful it is. We put the studs around it last night. Isn't it gorgeous? Isn't it beautiful? I'll take the blanket off. Look at it. That's gorgeous. It looks way better than those big ottomans, right? And I love the silver studding we did because I think it just give it the chic that I have to have. See? I know. Isn't she amazing? I have been searching and searching for the perfect gift for her for doing that. We painted all of this so it's got more coastal. I'm going to paint this frame. I know. And the lamp looks good here, don't it? I got to hurry up and plug in. Hold on. I got some stuff to get because I want to show you guys some stuff. I know. I'm really into this coastal living. Hey, Laura. I'm showing the ottoman that Yorkie Mom made me. We bought it at Goodwill and it was really ugly, but it's really solid. And I picked out fabric and she made it for me. She even did all the piping. So it looks custom, and then we put the studs on it. That's gorgeous. And it's starting to tie in to all my coastal living. All right, so I'm gonna let you stare, hold on. <laughs> stare at my warmer, right? I'll let you stare at Mr. Tiggs for a minute. I gotta go get my tripod. Whoa. I have so many things. We're just gonna hang out. All right. Should I put it on the table? You're looking at my fat. Don't look at my fat. All right, I guess I gotta put it on the floor. <laughs> Always dogs barking. It's like living in a subdivision. Barking at the squirrels are y'all. All right, so I'm gonna set this here. Get it plugged in. Ooh, don't be looking. Thumbs up, people, please. All right, so let's do this. <laughs> Uh, blue light. I have so many things to show you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, why don't I shut the live off? It'll be amazing. Alright. 
I gotta put you on level ground. <laughs> well, that'll work. Yikes. I need to do some skincare today. Florida. How's it, my bubba? How's it, my bubba? I love you too. He's watching Animal Planet. <laughs> it's like a kid in front of cartoons. <laughs> so, in case any of you are new, this was the Ottoman that Yorkie Mom made me from the Ottoman we um, found at Goodwill. We did the studs on it last night. It's so pretty. I kind of love it. All right, let me show you some new things I got. All right. Then we'll, we'll hang out. Let's hang out. Thank you for the video the other day about homemade can soap. Soap. I haven't tackled the candles yet. Oh yeah, I, I'm gonna show you all the new oils I got because I'm doing perfumes and I've made a couple scents. I made, uh, I made yum yum because it smells so yummy. And I made sweet love because it's sweet. But yum yum is my favorite. I wrote them down so that I remember. And then you always mix them um, even when they've been sitting. These are glass bottles, by the way. And then you just, you put them on your pressure points. You put the oil on your pressure points because that's where the heat is. Oh my God. I know you meant soap, Deb. <laughs> okay, so I've got more new oils because I want to make a spicy perfume scent. Where'd you get your oils from? Oh my gosh, here's something interesting. If you go into the pharmacy in Walmart, they have 100%, I'll show you. I'll read it to you instead of talking about it. Right, Tigsy? So, move baby. These are 100%, these are the Guru Nandas that people were telling me to get. Um, this one's clove, 100% natural central oil from farm to you. These are in the pharmacy of Wal Walmart. And then, of course, I had to have orange. And then I got some more sweet almond oil. That's that's what you're gonna use to, um, it's a carrier oil. Because you only do like, clove is a factor seven, very strong and can be uh, not good for you. So you only, you know, you only add clove as your um, bottom because it's very potent it says you must like if you're gonna mix it it's got to be one to ten if you're gonna use it as a massage oil you can add a couple drops to your bathtub yeah it will burn you absolutely so you gotta be careful I'm learning all these things the orange. I'm excited about the orange. Tracy's coming south May 4th. How much for each of those at Walmart Pharmacy? Uh, these were, I believe, like 5 or $6 a piece. It's not bad. Yeah, about 5 or 6 I think it was five ninety seven to be exact. Okay, another great find. Well, I was out shopping. It is a bargain. Um, and you get... Uh, 0.5 fluid ounces, which is 15 milliliters. That's a lot. Yeah. It, yep. Clove has to be blended with the carrier oil. That's why I got the sweet almond oil. I have some. I just got more. Now, this was a find. Remember I was talking about the Scentsy candles? I bought them, but with my candle melter, wax melter, it kind of, the heat, it's not meant, meant for Scentsy, by the way, but whoa, Yankee Candle makes the most insanely awesome waxes. So I got Coconut Beach, and my whole place smells like Mango Peach right now. It's incredible. I can smell it outside with my door open. And I, I always buy those cheap, uh, 
you know, the home and garden ones, and they just burn. This, I put this in yesterday, and my whole house smells like mango peach. It's incredible. Other new things. <laughs> so, remember how I was telling you guys about the matte, super stay matte. It just stains your lips, stays on for two, three days at a time. Number 125. Well, every time I went to Walmart, they were sold out of all the other colors. Well, I found one called Lover, number 15. See? Super Stay Matte by Maybelline. Matte ink. This one is so nice. If I'm not in a real pink mood, which I usually am, but... Look at this one. It gives you a lip color. Like your lips. Just defines them. Without making them all pink. Isn't that nice? So that one is... 15. It's called Love. Lover. My bad. Lover. There you go. A new color, guys. And it just looks natural. But it'll stain them for like two days. What else did I get? Oh my gosh. Well, I got these a while ago. I just haven't done anything with them yet. Um, this is a bunch of glass beads I bought. Actually, it was two packages, but I just put them all in one because I just finished my bracelet. So I bought this bracelet, you know, with the flamingo. Look at this now. Isn't that pretty? And I put just the pink glass beads on it. Okay, Tracy. I know, isn't that look cute? And I got the flip-flop. So I just kind of customized it to be mine. When I bought it, it had like three beads. So, my God, we've been so busy. Let's go look at all I'm getting done on my days off. Did you get your ring back? Now, uh, that story is three videos ago. I went with a new jeweler. And no, they swindled me, so I gave the ring they sent me that was not the canary, simulated canary diamond. I gave it to Yorkie Mom, and she loves it. So there you go. Problem solved. I don't want to fight with people anymore. That's why, as some of the trolls will notice, um, all my comments are um, review only. They don't go on my channel anymore um, because we're trying to have mindfulness, a happy place to go, peaceful, and you guys don't deserve it, and I don't deserve it, so that's why all my all the comments have to be reviewed, because it's just not going to be a part of my channel anymore. And trust me, they're trying, but I can't give them attention anymore. Oh, thank you, Dee Dee. I try just living my life, and I'm sharing it with you. <laughs> Sometimes I'm a joy. Aw, oh, thank you, Chris. So, um, yeah, I love I love this ottoman. We, As you can tell, we have to drop it. <laughs> Let me show you why. Okay, hold on. So, it's a little higher than the couch. So, your legs are higher. See that? So, my husband's going to cut um, an inch off the bottom of the legs. Yeah, life. You know what? You learn things in life, though. And that's, that's the... That's the joy I'm living right now after I took a break from YouTube to try to sort out, like, how can I enjoy the people I really care about and not make, you see a lot of YouTube channels make the negative comments their focus. And that's just because um, it outweighs, you know, bad always outweighs good because it's the most um, memorable, right? So I, while I took that break from YouTube, I said to myself, <clears throat> this is my true self. What you're seeing in lives is who I really am. I'm not the person who was, you know, giving negativity so much light and getting frustrated. And and that's a form of anxiety when I was taking the frustration and doing this with it. And I don't want to do that because negativity should be back here where it belongs and it's not a part of who you are and it was changing me and I didn't like it and I love YouTube but I didn't like what was happening so I said you know what 
let's work on this. And then if I want to go back and, and I feel like I can, I will. Because um, there are people out there that just want to see realness. They don't want to see edited content. They don't want to see blah, blah, blah. They just want to hang out with you. And that's what I want to do with you guys. I just want to hang out with you. And I found the lives to be way more enjoyable on YouTube than going out and filming stuff and editing it. Um, I still do that and I put those over on Patreon so I have those in my library too. But as far as my channel, I just want to live my everyday life and I just want to live it with you guys, the ones that really care and want to be here. Other than that, I, I don't care to get involved in that bubble anymore. Yeah, I'm just going to live my life. It, it is, and I just love you guys. Life's either a box of chocolates or a melted s'more. Enjoy life and roll with the punches and move on. Exactly. Yeah. Like yesterday, um, I, w I will bring this one to a head so you guys understand what I go through. And I don't question myself or who I am as a person. And to have a stranger do that is really kind of weird. And it's almost... Um, I don't even know the word, but it's kind of like they, they'll they watch you and they're, they're looking for that one little thing where they can accuse you of being something or accuse you of something you didn't do just to get your attention. So I'm not going to give it any light, but I'm just saying that's, that's what I deal with. But I'm going to film my life as it happens, what's going on, the things I'm doing, and... If, if somebody wants to twist it and turn it and make it their own narrative, um, I, I just I gotta I just gotta move on and that's what I'm doing. So that's why I'm not gonna talk about the things people say because that's giving them power and I don't give them power. So anyway, recap. <laughs> I bought five more pounds of soap base. And I did find any of you that want to make soap. I went to Hobby Lobby. And I got to use a 40% off coupon on one regular pri priced item from the internet. Just Google um, Hobby Lobby coupons. So I got five pounds of base. And that cost, it was $23.99. And I got 40% off of that. So tickety, tick, 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 nine, $9 and some off. So I got it for like $13. Well, I spent $30 on Amazon to get four pounds of base. So I highly recommend you go to Hobby Lobby. This time I bought the goat's milk. Was the band good the other night? Oh, yes. It was wonderful. They were fantastic. It was, it was fantastic. I was really impressed with them. And I, you know, uh, I, I have a thing about female singers. Like, it's one thing if you've got a voice like um, pink or... But when you just have like a high-pitched voice and you're trying to sing different songs, like, I generally lose interest. I'll, I'll like go, oh, okay, that was good and gotta go. Like, you know, like lounge singer, like top 40 band voices. Like, I like people with... My voice has like jet, like jest to it, and like Chris Stapleton, and I'm just like that. Like that will catch my attention. So the male singer in the band, he did Garth Brooks. He did. He was really amazing, and I was really, really impressed. Yep, I'm I'm doing the goat's milk this time. I'm gonna try that. I did the shea butter last time, and the soap's amazing. I, we're using it in the shower. Gave Yorkie Mama Bar, and there was no sweat on it when we unwrapped it. It was dry. It's just, you know, I got it in the cabinet, and it's just curing and curing and curing more. Um, but I'm telling you, I went to the flea market, and I bought two bars of soap, and they went so fast. And this bar of soap is still almost completely, like, four or five showers later is almost still completely the same size and everything. So, they are right. If you use a soap base, you can use them pretty much immediately. You know, some of, everybody was saying, wait a week, wait two weeks. But I just wanted to undo one bar because the rest is going to be sitting in there for a couple weeks. But I just wanted to undo one bar to see if it was true or not that I would go through the bar way faster if I used it right away. 
And no, it, it, it's, it's holding its own. It's amazing. I did get some new oils to make new bars of soap. Um, let me get them all for you. Yeah, so I'm testing all the theories and people's advice. And because one woman, um, a Atriana, I love watching her. She's a soap maker from um, Crap. I can't remember where she's at. Is she in the Netherlands? Yeah, test it by just doing it myself. Because I wasn't worried about losing a bar of soap. I mean, I'm making a ton, by the way. <laughs> and uh, <coughs> so, Atriana, as soon as she makes her, she has these ovens. Oh, my gosh. And all of her soap base is already heated. And she just pulls this lever down and fills her container. That's impressive, by the way. She makes 400 bars of soap, like, a week. So, she needed something industrial like that, but... I figured she's a good source um, for advice, and she said, or she said, like after she cuts her soap, she packages it, she shrink wraps it and packages it. So I kind of went with her, and I, I'm telling you, it's lasting longer than the two bars I bought at the flea market. They must have been freshly made from like lye. I don't know her link. I promise you, I will look it up. I cannot remember the name of her. I watch so many soap makers. I cannot remember the name of her channel. But she's probably up there in one of the best ones. She's very thorough with explaining things. And that was the problem I was finding with other soap making channels. They just act like we all know what we're doing. So they're not telling you. They just pour their fragrance in. They're not telling you the measurements. She was the only one I found that was like more more than informative and I don't I'm I'm hoping <laughs> I still I'm on the fence about the amount my husband's trying to call my husband's trying to call I'm sorry anyway um so I was still on the fence about I'm still on the fence about the fragrance because is it teaspoons or tablespoons I am having a hard time with this I have googled three percent that that's all I keep getting off the internet, but I'm watching. <laughs> He's not gonna give up. Is he's gonna keep calling? You think when you send someone to voicemail, they're like, "Oh, she's busy." Not my husband. No. <laughs> Why is she doing that? <laughs> he keeps calling me. <laughs> I don't get a break. Anyway, where was I? Holy Moses! Ah. Uh, so anyway, I'll see people mix up a bunch of fragrance and dump it in their soap, and I'm like, he's going to keep calling. <laughs> I can't ever do a lie without something making me laugh. I don't know why. I, I, I could never do a serious lie. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it's Ellie's every day. Her name's Atriana. A-T-R-I-A-N-A. -A. That's her first name. If you Google that, if you Google Atriana soap making, maybe they'll give you the name of the YouTube channel. Somebody go do that and then tell me. And then I'll go, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Let me get my other oils. <laughs> Okay, so I had all this stuff come. I did. Come on now. Oh yeah, this is my, those are my glass bottles. I have to keep watching this so he doesn't try to come. He is so funny. Oh, and he grabs someone's keys from the tax collector, yeah. All right, so I finally got the bergamot. I need that. Adriana Pizza? Atriana. A-T. As in tree. R-I-A-N-A. -A. I remember her name. I don't remember if she's Swedish. She's from the Netherlands, I believe. Lavender, eucalyptus. See, I don't need eucalyptus. Now, what else did I get? I got more oils. Yeah, Atriana. Absolutely. Ow! 
I hurt myself. What else did I get? Might have tossed them. I don't even know. It's such a mess. Anyway. This is what I got from Happy Happy. Why were you calling me? I'm not alive. Because I got you a sandwich. Oh, he got me a sandwich. I want to make sure you weren't eating. I haven't eaten today. I've had two pieces of cheese. This is the big, heavy, five pounds. Oh no, I got the double butter, butter soap. It's enriched with mango and shea butter because I remember now the goat's milk was only a uh, two pound and I wanted a big one. So I got five. And they only had one goat's milk left. Of course, everybody making soap. So see, it was $23.99. And then I got a 40% off, so it made it like $12. And I spent 30 on four pounds, and this is five. <laughs> Thank you, honey. I sh revealed our Ottoman. No, Atriana popping up my search. I will find it, I promise, Florida, I will find it. Why are you home so early? Are you gonna go to the pool? <laughs> He laughs. Maybe. He doesn't like to go to the pool. He's not an Aquarius. They're laughing at your arm poking into the frame. I don't eat on camera because I don't like when people eat on camera. Not a sandwich anyway. <laughs> no, M&M's, yeah. Uh, he got me a Subway. And I generally get pepperoni, provolone cheese, lettuce, and then a, that spicy Italian dressing. Oh, oh, look at Mr. Tiggs. Daddy. I am actually, no, I don't do matchy-matchy pillows with anything. I actually found some pillows I really want. They have the, the beach teal I'm doing in here, that mint tea color. And then there's one that sits in the center of the couch that says, this is home. And I'm going to get those. Dee Dee's like, food. Mr. Tiggs, he's sharing. Yes. It's Ariane. I'm sorry. No tea. Ariane Arsenal. What's the name of her YouTube channel? That's the girl. That's her. I knew it was A and A and... I gotta saw those off. I know. I showed them how we have to saw these off. Drop it down below the couch. Or even. We have to measure the, the difference in height. Not sure, but about lower. three teaspoons per pound. See, and I was doing... Two teaspoons per two pounds. Right? Yeah, that's what I was doing. All right, so how did you find that out? Not for sure, but about three teaspoons per pound. That's why I've seen people pouring a lot more fragrance than I did, but my soap is pretty fragrant. So for, no, for three pounds, I did three and a half teaspoons so you're right I I did it right okay oh that is her channel name Ariane Arsenal and she makes soap right maybe you're right that's where I got her name from don't you love this lipstick damn love this stuff that's awesome yeah she's very okay She's very, very helpful with soap. If you're gonna start making soap. I couldn't find a lot of, like they, they would say, you know, soap, melt and pour soap for beginners, right? I find, I, that's what I put in YouTube. And then I would get all these, um, <clears throat> I'd get all these channel suggestions, but nobody was really specific on temperatures, uh, fragrance amounts. Maybe they just didn't wanna be held responsible for being too detailed, I don't know. They just kind of show you how to do it. So I've had to do a lot of research. But I am gonna make more perfumes and uh, I'm making a spicy perfume. So I gotta contact my first subscriber to Patreon in the last six months and find out what flavors they want. The soap, they're not gonna have a choice because I'm gonna make soap, but the perfume, they can do yum yum sweet or spicy. And then I'm going to send them a bar of soap and a perfume. 
I'm going to do, like, every six months, somebody is going to get, that's been on Patreon for six months, is going to get something. And, yeah, I know I procrastinate mailing, but I'm really going to be on this. <laughs> Oh, crap. Here, take it. There's no scent to sweet almond oil. Can you use sweet almond oil for anything else? Let's read. Oh, well, hello. It's great for most skin types and topical applications. Best known for its anti-aging skin and hair benefits. What? Almond oil is an emollient that provides a healthy, youthful, and radiant look and feel. It is easily absorbed into the skin. What? Well, do your job. Holy moly. This one's 100% pure. Walmart Pharmacy. Did you know that about almond oil? I can put it in my conditioners. Oh, she's from Canada. Okay. God, I thought she was from the Netherlands. Well, from Florida, that is the Netherlands. <laughs> Distance-wise. I lost my... What? My light. Let's see. I mean, my light's still on, but I can't figure out why. My camera went so dim. My blue light's on. Okay, now it's kind of weird. I gotta come way up here. <laughs> yeah. 36 people. What's going on today, you guys? It's really hot here. I gotta turn the air on soon. So you've seen all my things. There's the ottoman. It now has a bunch of junk on it. So I'm showing you everything I have. So, who wants me to do a live making... My, my next project, do you want me to make um, soap and try to do the ring pour? Or do you want me to do a video on making perfume? <laughs> the perfume's like that quick. Once you get your blends together, it's like that. Hi, Sally. <laughs> Make some nail polish. I'm not making nail polish. <laughs> oh, really? That's the name of her website? La Fille Adela Mer. That, that, she must be in uh, Quebec then. That's French, right? Mr. Tiggs. Do you want to say hi to people? Go up here and look. Say, oh, no. Up here. Goo goo. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> You're wait, right there. You're saying hi. Say my googly eyes. Do you got pug eyes? Yep. Every witch away. See how high up it is compared to the couch. About an inch will do it. Deb says hi. He's home early. Did you uh, get a hold of that place? What place? Where you got to change the name? No. You didn't call him? He is cozy. He's always cozy. Yorkie mom's walking with me playing live on her phone. I thought you were at work. You should be sitting yeah. down here. I thought you were at work. Yeah. Thanks for getting me ready hours before I have to be there. Two? Two, remember? I don't remember. You kept telling me news. She's like, you got 40 minutes to get to work. I'm like, oh. I dash in the shower. I'm showering. I'm like, hold on. I don't have to be there at 2 o'clock. I'm not showing you because you have your work shirt on. All right. What if I do this? Cross my heart. <laughs> I had to come show you. You could put too many beads on a bracelet, I think. Um. Yeah, you did. I got them all on there. She goes, I think you could put too many beads on a bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you should stick to the top being just plain. <laughs> <laughs> it weigh you down? It's pretty big. 
She goes, I put them all on there. But it fits my wrist better. Look at there. Because <laughs> otherwise it's so big. That's yeah. cute though. I laid them out and put them in sequential order, like meaning and stuff. And I'm like, backwards. Yeah. No, I mean, you gotta turn your bracelet around. Well, because then I was like, I'll wear it on this arm, but it's like, it's way too much, right? No, it actually looks good. <laughs> like, there's just st things sticking out all over the place. So, anyway, I'll probably redo it. I laid things out on the table, you know. Yeah. If I had doubles, tri you know. <laughs> <laughs> to make a sense, it's like, yeah. Crazy. I was showing everybody the ottoman you made. Yeah. Do they like it? Yeah. They said it was beautiful. I did a whole back from there look. Oh, good. I've been showing them all my goodies I bought. Yeah. Oh my God, that is so heavy. Like, yep. She made this. Mr. No Madness found a ottoman at the Goodwill, and she ripped it apart. I picked out fabric. And away she went. You probably already know this. Rick was telling me last night how you can make sure you cut those legs off exactly the same all four. Can you oh, yeah. You just make a jig, like with a pencil or a marker, mm -hmm. the height that you want it cut off, and make sure it's sitting on flat, and then you just go around and have it mark all four sides exactly, because it's going to mark them exactly the same. And that's your yeah, he line. did. Um, I'm he, like, oh, well, I'm not a construction person. He He's actually like, yeah, built furniture. That. He used to build furniture. He would know that. That's cabinets. not my forte. He ripped all of the cabinets out of our Class C and built them all custom because the boxes disintegrated. So he had no oh. template. <laughs> he had to build them custom. What you see, your time. Mm -hmm. Intricate. He's got his little tail wagon. Hers come to visit me. Mm -hmm. <coughs> you got to work? Two. Can I go, you have 40 minutes Two till you six. have to be to work. And then she's like yeah. three hours early. Just having my first cup of coffee. You got 40 minutes to be to work. Why do you even work? Why? That's a good question. I said, this is such an inconvenience to my life. We were like going through beads and like I go, I got you got 40 you minutes today. till you have to go to work. And she goes, see, this is an inconvenience to my life. It is. It is. Pain in my ass. She work once a month. Yeah, just so, so my mail can come here. <laughs> That's all I want. It's like, it's nice that every 14 days get that little pay, but it's not worth the hell. Well, and I don't even get, I get like change. Because oh. I work so little anyway. I know. She's telling me what she gets, I'm like, <laughs> I get crumbs of that. So it's really it, not worth it. It's not. It's not worth it. Not living the Florida life. Mm-hmm. You know, and like we only got three months of summer where we used to live. My it time. does. It interrupts our day. Because like I got to work today for six hours, and then I get three days off. Right up. So what's the time? So why bother? Like just don't even go. Just stop. Stop the insanity. <laughs> don't even go. <coughs> Stupid. Yeah. She yeah. goes. I'm going because then I'll end up with her hours. <laughs> <laughs> only if you take them. Just like, kidding. listen, Linda. Listen, Linda. I told her the other day. This ain't working for our lifestyle. She wanted lifestyle. me to come in on Wednesday. Wednesday. I get three days off. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. She wanted me to come in on Wednesday and work. She did that to me, I'm too. I'm like, no. That's right in the middle of my three days off. That, no. I'm, I got something planned. I don't know why, but I'm going to have something planned. So that's 2.87 teaspoons per what? I'll wait for it. Per five pounds, four pounds, two pounds, one pound. I know John is hysterical. They go, John, why bother? Yeah, I would love to quit my job. <laughs> I, I just want to own my own business. I just, I just don't like working for people anymore. Because you give them an inch, they take a mile. And that's happened everywhere I've worked. And no different here. I gave them six months of full-time, hired and part-time. Gave them six months of full time and then acted completely ungrateful when they tried to fill in my part time schedule. You're not going to help me anymore. I helped you for six months, no benefits. 
I worked full time and now I'm just asking for what I hired in for and you're going to sit there and threaten me and manipulate me. Because she goes, if you're not going to help me then I can really fix your schedule. Perfect. One day a week or I can leave right now. See, I'm, I'm just not going to be talked to like that anymore. A oh, one pound, 2.87, so almost three teaspoons per pound? Are you sure? How are you? She's sitting in my gazebo and people are walking up to her. <laughs> my gazebo, you can't sit in it. What are you doing? I don't know who's out there. She literally sat in my gazebo. And somebody... You hear him? <laughs> it's because of my... I, I stick out like a sore thumb. My lot does. I've learned my lesson when I move. <laughs> Do not create anything that draws attention. Yeah, John always eggs people on. Yeah, just quit. What'd you say, Florida? Soon, soon, Shelly. You're already getting set for that lifestyle. I know. Very soon. Very soon. I just like to... Listen, I want to work for myself and my husband. Like, I want to create an empire. I don't want to work for somebody else's empire and get paid peanuts and... I, those days are done. I'm 54. I'm not interested in that anymore. I did plenty of that in the day. I really did. I've worked for corporations. I've worked for hospitals. And I'm used to being a peon or a gopher and trying to earn that buck. And I'm not interested in that anymore. I want to go to work and, and I am responsible for how successful it is. That's all I want to do. I want to finally put that into motion. <laughs> I told you you cannot. You got mail. Bumblebee's accessory is here. Okay, I'm not gonna tell you guys. Oh my gosh. Susan, go, go get, get it. it. Johnny, Susan, go get it. <laughs> I just offered and then I thought, hold on. Why do I want to go down there now? And you're right, Florida. Okay. We have found that this is the place to live oh. cheap and oh. <laughs> be able to create a business. There's so many people here with Supply and demand, Shady this is a business. great place for to start a business. Shady. They said, did John hurt his shin? What'd you do? Why is it bloody? It's always bloody. He picks at himself. Is that what you did? No, I scraped it. Oh, you scraped it. Hello? That's what you did, Florida? That's awesome. What? Yeah, you just get to a certain age where... You've pretty much experienced everything and you okay. know what you like, you know what you don't like, and now it's time to put it all together and make something successful for yourself. And, and that's why we're living okay. RV life because I'm not pouring my money into a house and I'd rather pour it into my future, yeah. like a job, a, a, or I mean a business. And I tell you, man, I want a business where I don't have to have quality control like food, I don't want to deal with uh, like liquor license, like bars. I, I don't want to deal with food. I don't want to deal with alcohol. I want to deal with like taking care of people's little ones, the little baby dogs that don't want to go into um, a big boarding place with, with big dogs. It makes them nervous and anxious, especially if they don't know their surrounding. Right, Googs? You'll never board. Never will I board him. It would ruin him. I know that. Some breeds can do it, but Chihuahuas, no. So, I definitely want to create that pampering, luxury, daycare, and motel. Because <laughs> when they want me to keep them, I want them to have their own little hotel rooms. That's my dream, and it will happen. You're not going near my sub. I'm going ahead with my dream. You don't, you don't understand how close we are. Chihuahuas. They're, chihuahuas are great dogs, just like pit bulls, if you are a good owner. If you know their personality, you know what to do and not to do, 
You will have a great chihuahua. You go. <laughs> Your legs are burning. I'm going to the pool. I have to. But I am going to do a video. I'll do a live. I'll probably go live in a little bit because I'll probably be ending a live and going um, to another live in a little bit as soon as my phone charges because I want you to see Bumblebee's accessory and we'll watch Mr. No Madness put it on. How's that? It is so gorgeous here. The humidity's low, but it's hot. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna let you go because I gotta go down and pick up Bumblebee's accessory. I'll see you live in a little bit, okay? I promise. Like.